Welcome back to another episode of Future Framers. In this episode, we delve into the life of the iconic Merle Oberon, best known for her roles in Wuthering Heights and the Scarlet Pimpernel. Are you ready to discover the extraordinary life of one of Hollywood's most beloved icons? Merle Oberon was more than just a Hollywood actress. She was a mystery wrapped in elegance, with a dash of scandal and a hint of intrigue. Born Estelle Merle O'Brien Thompson on February 19, 1911, in Bombay, India, her life story reads like a Hollywood script, complete with hidden identities, forbidden love affairs, and a rise to fame that defied the odds. Oberon's journey began in the vibrant city of Bombay, where she was born to a British army officer and an Anglo-Indian mother. While she was exposed to Indian culture, she primarily lived a privileged life within the British colonial community and wouldn't have fully experienced the constraints faced by most Indians under colonial rule. It was in this complex social milieu that Oberon developed her unique blend of beauty and resilience, traits that would later define her career in Hollywood. At the age of 17, Oberon left India for England, where she pursued a career in acting. Armed with her exotic looks and innate talent, she quickly caught the eye of film director Alexander Korda. Korda, himself a Hungarian immigrant with a keen eye for talent, saw in Oberon the potential to become a star. Under Korda's guidance, Oberon made her film debut in the British film The Private Life of Henry VIII, 1933, where she played Anne Boleyn opposite Charles Lawton's titular monarch. The film was a critical and commercial success, catapulting Oberon to stardom virtually overnight. With the success of The Private Life of Henry VIII, Oberon's Hollywood career began in earnest. She signed a contract with Samuel Goldwyn and made her American film debut in The Dark Angel, 1935, earning critical acclaim for her performance as a woman torn between two lovers during World War I. The role showcased Oberon's versatility as an actress and cemented her status as one of Hollywood's rising stars. Throughout the late 1930s and 1940s, Oberon starred in a string of successful films, including The Scarlet Pimpernel, 1934, Wuthering Heights, 1939, and This Love of Ours, 1945. Her luminous beauty and magnetic screen presence captivated audiences around the world, making her one of the most sought-after actresses of her time. While there were rumors and gossip surrounding her relationship with Korda, Concrete evidence about other scandalous affairs is limited. Meryl Oberon was married four times to Alexander Korda, Lucian Ballard, Bruno Pagliai, and Robert Wolders. She had two children, Bruno Pagliai Jr. and Francesca Pagliai. In 1945, Oberon married Mexican-American cinematographer Lucian Ballard, marking her third marriage and the beginning of a tumultuous chapter in her life. The marriage was fraught with infidelity and betrayal, with both Oberon and Ballard engaging in extramarital affairs that further strained their already fragile relationship. Despite their marital woes, Oberon and Ballard remained together for over a decade before finally divorcing in 1959. The end of their marriage marked the beginning of a downward spiral for Oberon, who struggled to reclaim her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. In the years that followed, Oberon's career faltered, and she found herself relegated to supporting roles in lesser-known films. Her once glamorous image faded, replaced by the harsh realities of aging in an industry that valued youth and beauty above all else. One of the most enduring mysteries surrounding Oberon's life was her true heritage. Despite being born in India to a mixed-race family, Oberon went to great lengths to conceal her Anglo-Indian ancestry throughout her career. In an era of rampant racism and discrimination in Hollywood, 
Oberon feared that her heritage would hinder her chances of success in an industry dominated by white actors. To maintain her illusion of European ancestry, Oberon claimed to be born in Tasmania, Australia, and even fabricated a false backstory to support her claim. She went so far as to obscure her family's Indian roots, replacing them with a fictitious narrative of European descent. Oberon's deception was a testament to the racial prejudices of the time and the lengths to which individuals would go to conform to societal expectations. Despite her success in Hollywood, Oberon's decision to conceal her true identity speaks to the pervasive racism that pervaded the film industry and society at large. Throughout her career, Merle Oberon meticulously shielded the truth about her birth, crafting a facade that placed her origins in Tasmania, Australia, claiming a fire destroyed her birth records. Officially, she was the daughter of Arthur Thompson, a Welsh engineer working for the Indian Railways, and Charlotte Selby, a burger from Ceylon. However, a closer look reveals a tangled web of family secrets and potential trauma. Merle's birth certificate revealed her biological mother as Constance Thompson, raising questions about whether this was Charlotte's then-teenage daughter. A theory suggests Constance was impregnated by her stepfather, Arthur, leading to a cover-up. Charlotte raised Merle as Constance's half-sister to avoid scandal. This wasn't the only instance of tragic circumstances surrounding Merle's family history. Charlotte herself had given birth to Constance at 14, the result of an assault by her employer, Henry Selby. Biographers even suggested Maori ancestry on Charlotte's side, though the specific tribe remains unknown. Constance eventually married and had four children, some of whom moved to UK and Canada. One son, Harry, stumbled upon Merle's birth certificate in India, revealing a shocking truth. He wasn't her nephew, but her half-brother. Despite attempts to connect with Merle in Los Angeles, she refused to acknowledge him. Harry kept this information hidden from biographers and only revealed it to Mari Dolofsky, who later directed a documentary exploring the various narratives surrounding Merla's controversial origins. Sadly, Merle Oberon's life met an untimely conclusion on November 23, 1979, as she succumbed to a stroke at the age of 68. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding her passing, Oberon's legacy lives on as a testament to the enduring allure of Hollywood's golden age. Her captivating performances and enigmatic persona continue to fascinate audiences to this day, ensuring that she will forever be remembered as one of the silver screen's most enduring icons. In conclusion, Merle Oberon's life was a tapestry of triumphs and tragedies, scandal and intrigue. From her humble beginnings in India to her rise to fame in Hollywood, Oberon defied expectations and shattered stereotypes to become one of the most iconic actresses of her generation. Though her true heritage may have been hidden from the public eye, Oberon's legacy as a trailblazer and a Hollywood legend remains etched in the annals of film history. Her story, however, also serves as a reminder of the complex and often problematic aspects of Hollywood's history, particularly regarding issues of race and ethnicity. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode of Future Framers. See you in the next video.